Hi guys, my name is Todd Shulman and I'm going to be playing the role of the teacher today on how to tie your shoes. I'm Rebecca, I'll be the student. Alright, here we go. Boom. Alright, Rebecca. So the first thing you do when you tie your shoes, well first you need to identify what shoe you want to wear in the morning. Okay. I know for women that can be a difficult thing sometimes, however, once you've identified your shoe, start with your right foot. Go ahead and stick your foot on. Make sure the, 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 the laces are loose so you can easily stick your foot in. Okay. So just, you know, loosen I'm them up. I'm in. You're in. So the first thing you want to do before you begin tying your shoe is make sure your foot is comfortably fitting in the shoe. And to do that, you want to stand up, touch your toe to make sure that uh, the size fits well. Yep. If it fits well, you may continue. So we want to sit back down. And the very first step to tying your shoe, once your foot is in, is tighten the laces. And to do that, you start with, well, on your shoe, it looks like there's just two laces. But you want to pull them up, make sure it's tight. Or in yours, in case it's a different type of shoe, you can just pull it. Make sure it's tight. Then, the first step, or the second step, rather, is you want to cross your laces. One goes that way, the other goes that way. Step number two, three, excuse me, is you want to wrap the lace underneath the two cross laces and pull it tight. Very good, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're doing well. Thanks. The fourth step is you make a loop with your left lace. Is it too big? Well, the way to tell Rebecca if it's too big or too small is you want to be able to just fit two fingers through the loop. Oh, mine's too big. Okay, better. That looks good. <laughs> Thanks. Nice job. Step number five, yes. Number five is you take the right lace and you wrap it around your thumb and your first finger so that that loop is locked in place. Very good, Rebecca. Thanks. Then you stick that right lace to the right of your thumb, the outside of it, push through with your index, and at the same time, pull. Great. I got it. Very good. Thanks. My bows now, aren't as pretty as yours. So. They're not quite as pretty, <laughs> but that's okay. You're still a beginner. Now, I want you to do the same on your own with your left foot. Okay. So go for it. So I'm going to tighten it. Uh-huh. And then I'm going to cross it. Very good. And then I'm going to make it tight. Nice. Okay, and then what do I do? All right. Well, that's pretty good so far, though. I'm very proud. Most people, it takes them, you know, a few times to get this. So, right, you had it crossed, you went underneath, you pulled. Now we want to create that two-finger loop. Oh, right, right, right. Put those two fingers in there. Yep, fits. Now what do I do, or what do we do? Then we cross it over our thumb and forefinger. Uh-huh. And then we pull it through, uh-huh, and make the loop. Nice, very good. But mine aren't even. It's okay that they're not even because not everybody is, you know, ties the perfect shoelace, but if you can walk in them, you know I you've done it. feel pretty tight. All right. Well, you have successfully completed the TO double course on how to tie a shoe. Thanks, Todd. All right, we'll see you next time.